Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If someone said it was a happy little tale, if somebody told you I was just an ordinary guy, not a care in the world, somebody lied, but let me assure you, this like any story worth telling is all about a girl. That girl. The girl next door. Mary Jane Watson. The woman I've loved since before I even liked girls. I'd like to tell you that's me next to her. Aw, oh, heck, I'd even take him. Hey, stop the bus! That's, that's me. Tell him to stop. Please stop. Hey, stop the bus. Stop the bus. He's been chasing us since Woodhaven Boulevard. Catch a cab, Parker. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm late. What a geek. Don't even think about it. You're so lame, Parker. Would you date him? Midtown High Seniors. No wandering. Proceed direct. Knock it off. Remember, it is a privilege to be here. We're guests of the Columbia University Science Department, so behave accordingly. Let's not have a repeat of our trip to the planetarium. Come on, people. Stay together. Proceed up the steps into the building. MJ. Where were you? Checking out the library, looking at the books. Yeah, right. Charles, can we drive around the corner, please? Why? The entrance is right there. Dad, these are public school kids. I'm not showing up for a field trip in rolls. You want me to trade in my car for a Jetta just because you flunked out of every private school I ever sent you to? It wasn't for me. Of course it was. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. It's just, just what, Harry? Forget it. Pete. Hi, Harry. Hey, man. What's up? Harry, won't you be needing this? Thanks, Dad. Um, Peter, Matt, introduce my father, Norman Osborne. I've heard so much about you. It's a great honor to meet you, sir. Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I read all your research on nanotechnology. Really brilliant. Brilliant. You understood it? Yes, I wrote a paper on it. Impressive. Your parents must be very proud. I live with my aunt and uncle. They are proud. Hey, you two. Let's move. Nice to meet you. Hope to see you again. He doesn't seem so bad. Not if you're a genius. I think he wants to adopt you. There are over 32,000 known species of spider in the world. They're in order ar aranid, I can't say that word, divided into three suborders. That's amazing. This is the most advanced electron microscope in the eastern seaboard. It's unreal. Arachnids from all three groups possess various strengths which help them in their constant search for food. For example, the Delina spider, family Sparacida, has the ability to jump to catch its prey. For the school paper, next, we have, to, we have the net web family. Ah. Next, we have the net web spider, family Flitostelidae. Genus Cucucana. It spins an intricate funnel shaped web whose strands have tensile strength proportionately equal to the type of high tension wire. Leave him alone. Or what? Or his father will fire your father. What's daddy gonna do? Sue me? What is going on? The next person who talks will fail this course, I kid you not. The grass spider. Let's go. Hunt using reflexes with nerve conducting velocity so fast that some readers believe almost borders on precognition. These guys are jerks. An imminent awareness of danger a spider sense. Hey, look at that spider. Some spiders change colors to blend into their environment. It's a defense mechanism. Peter, what makes you think I'd want to know that? Who wouldn't? Over five painstaking years, Columbia's genetic research facility has. You gonna talk to her now? Oh, come on, you talk to her. With the DNA blueprints, we have begun what was once thought impossible. Disgusting. Yeah, hateful little things. I love them. Yeah, me too. You know, spiders can change their color to blend into their environment. Really? Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Cool. Transfer RNA to encode the entirely new genome combining the genetic information for all three into these 15 genetically designed super spiders. There's 14. I beg your pardon? One's missing. Yeah. I guess the researchers are working on that one. Do you know that this is the largest electron microscope on the eastern seaboard? You were talking throughout that woman's entire presentation. Let's talk about how we listen. I don't know what it's like at those fancy private schools, but at Midtown High... Hey, can I take your picture? I need one with a student in it. Sure, yeah, great. Where do you want me, over here? Yeah, that's great. Don't make me look ugly. That's impossible. Perfect, is that good? Great, that's great. MJ, let's go. Wait, thanks. Parker, let's do it. We've solved the horizon glide and the multi-G balance issues. I've already seen the glider. That's not what I'm here for. General Slocum, good to see you again. Mr. Balkin, Mr. Fargus, Norman, Mr. Osborne, always a pleasure to have the board of directors pay us a little visit. I want to see the progress report on human performance enhancers. We've tried vapor inhalation with rodent subjects. They showed an 800% increase in strength. Any side effects? In one trial, yes. It was an, it was an aberration. It was an aberration. All the tests since have been successful. In the trial that went wrong, what happened? What were the side effects? Violence, aggression, and insanity. What do you recommend? That was only one test. With the exception of Dr. Strom, our entire staff, staff certifies the progress is ready for human testing. Dr. Strom, we need, we need to take the whole line back to formula. Back to formula? Dr. Osborne, I'm going to be frank with you. I've never supported your program. We have my predecessor to thank for that. Norman, the general gave the go-ahead... Norman, the general gave the go-ahead to Quest Aerospace to build a prototype of the exoskeleton design. They test in two weeks. 
And if your so-called performance and answers have not had a successful human trial by that date, I'm going to pull your funding. I'm going to give it to them. Gentlemen, ladies, and the Lord said, Let there be light, and voila, there is light. Forty soft, glowing watts of it. Good boy, God will, good boy, God will be thrilled. Just don't fall on your butt. I'm already on my butt, May. When the plants, when the plant senior electrician is laid off after 35 years, what would you call it? I'm on my butt. Hand me that dish, the green one. The corporation is downsizing the people and upsizing the profits. Oh, Ben, you'll get another job somewhere. Well, let's look in the paper. See, there are one ads. There are the one ads. What do we got here? Computer, computer salesman, computer engineer, computer analyst. My lord, even the computers need analysts these days. I'm 68. I'm too old for computers. And besides, I have a family to provide for. I love you and Peter loves you. You're the most responsible man I've ever known. We've been down and out before, but somehow we survive. Hi, sweetie. You're just, just in time for dinner. How you doing? How was the field trip? I don't feel well. I'm going to get some sleep. You won't have a bite? No, thanks. Had a bite. Did you get some pictures, Peter? I got a crash. Everything's fine. What's that all about? And then this is the part where it just repeats everything and he has that flashback. Dr. Osborne, please, the performance enhancers aren't ready. The data just doesn't justify this test. Now I'm asking you for the last time. We can't do this. Don't be a coward. Risk or part of laboratory signs. Let me reschedule with the proper medical staff and a volunteer. If you just give me two weeks, two weeks, and two weeks, we'll lose the contract to Quest and Oscorp will be dead. Sometimes you got to do things yourself. Get me to the Pramochlorpozine. For what? It begins catalyzation with the vapor hits the bloodstream and we barely tap the vatness of human potential. Oh, that's cold. Norman, Norman, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Norman. Backed up armula. Weird. Peter? Yeah. Are you alright? I'm fine. Any better this morning? Any change? Change? Yep, big change. Well, hurry up, you're going to be late. Right, okay. Goodness me, geez, I thought you were sick. I got better. See, bye guys. You haven't eaten anything? Have you got your lunch money? Yeah, I've got it. Hey, Michelangelo, don't forget. We're painting the kitchen right after school. Got it? Sure, Uncle Ben. Don't start without me. And don't start up with me. Teenagers, raging hormones, they never change. You're trash. You're always going to be trash, just like her. I've got to go to school. Who's stopping you? Hi, MJ. Hey, MJ. I don't know if you realize this, but we've been neighbors since I was six, and I was wondering if we could get together sometime. I got the car. Hop in. Do something fun. Or I don't know. I thought it'd be time to get to know each other or not. Sorry, Parker. The bus is full. Stop the bus. Catch a cab. Tell him to stop. Check him out, dork. Dad, Dad, are you all right? Harry, what are you doing on the floor? I don't know. Have you been there all night? Last night I was what? I don't remember. Mr. Osborne? Sir, I asked her to wait in the foyer. My father's not feeling well. If Mr. Osborne, Dr. Strom is dead. What? They found his body in the morning in the lab. He's been murdered, sir. What are you talking about? And the flight suit and the glider? What about it? It's been stolen, sir. Wow, great reflexes. Thanks. No problem. Hey, you have blue eyes. I didn't notice without your glasses. You just got contacts? Well, see ya. What happened? He's freaking weird. Did you see that? Parker. It's a fight. Think you're pretty funny, don't you, freak? Flash, it was just an accident. My fist breaking your teeth, that's the accident. Come on, Flash, stop. I don't want to fight you, Flash. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Kick his butt. Help him, Harry. How'd he do that? Which one? He's all yours, man. Flash, get up. Jesus, Parker, you are a freak. Peter, that was, that was amazing. I'm out of here. Come on. Go, Web, go. Fly. Up, up, and away, Web. Shazam. Go, go, go. Go, Web, go. Tally ho. Is she back with the beer yet? What? Bring me some beer. Get up off your butt. I paid for the beer. Stop yelling. Stop it. You're as stupid as your mother. Where's she going? Where are you going? The dishes aren't done. Somebody got to do the dishes. Why don't you do them? Get in here and do the dishes. You do them. They're yours anyway. I'm going out. Were you listening to that? No. Well, I heard, but I was just taking out the trash. I guess you can always hear. Everybody shouts. Your aunt and uncle don't. Oh, they can scream pretty good sometimes. Listen, MJ, about today, school with Flash, you really freaked us out. I'm sorry, is he okay? He's just happy you didn't give him a black eye for graduation. So where are you going after you graduate? I want to move into the city, hopefully get a job as a photographer, work my way through college. What about you? Headed for the city, too. Can't wait to get out of here. I want to... What? No, come on, try me. I want to act on stage. Really? Oh, that's perfect. You were awesome in all the school plays. Really? Yeah, I cried like a baby when you played Cinderella. Peter, that was first grade. Well, even so, sometimes, you know, people... You can just see what's coming. What do you see coming for you? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's something I've never felt before. And what for me? For you, you're going to light up Broadway. You know you're taller than you look. I hunch. Don't. Hey, MJ, come take a ride in my new birthday present. Come on. I got to go. Bye. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Yeah, right? Look at it. Hop in. Oh, my God, what a cool car. Pretty tight, huh? Wait till you hear the sound system. Hey, don't scratch the leather. Cool car. What's going on in there? I'm exercising. I'm not dressed, Aunt May. Well, you're acting so strangely, Peter. Okay, thanks. Something's bothering him. Maybe he's too embarrassed to tell me what it is. Maybe I'm too embarrassed to ask him. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. 
I'm going to the downtown library. I'll see you later. Wait, I'll drive you there, buddy. I'll take the train. No, I need the extra ties. Go on, go on, go on. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Vin. Now, wait a minute. We need to talk. We can talk later. Well, we can talk now, if you let me. What do we have to talk about? Why now? Because you haven't talked at all for so long. Your aunt made it, and I don't even... Your aunt man, I don't even know who you are anymore. You shrink your chores. You have all these weird experiments in your room. You start fights at school. I didn't start that fight. I told you that. Well, you sure as heck finished it. What was I supposed to do? Run away? No, you're not supposed to run away, but... Pete, look, you're changing. I know. I went through exactly the same thing at your age. No, not exactly. Peter, these are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. This guy, Flash Thompson, he probably deserved what happened. But just because you can beat him up doesn't give you the right to. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Are you afraid I'm going to turn into some kind of criminal? Quit worrying about me, okay? Something's different. I'll figure it out. Stop lecturing, please. I don't mean to lecture. I don't mean to preach. I know I'm not your father. Then stop pretending to be. Right, I'll pick you up here at 10. Bone saw, bone saw, bone saw. One, two, three, that's it. Who's the man, ladies and gentlemen? Give it up for Bone Saw McGraw for $3,000. Is there no one here man enough to stay in the ring for three minutes with this titan of testosterone? Who? I know who, the Flying Dutchman. Next. There's no featherweight division here, small fry. Next. No, no, sign me up. Okay, you understand that NYWL is not responsible for any injury you may and probably will sustain while participating in said event, and you are indeed participating of your own free will? Yes. Down the hall to the ramp. May copy with you. Next. Told you, told you. Winner! Next victim. Are you ready for more? Bone saw is ready. Will the next victim please enter the arena at this time? If he can withstand just three minutes in the cage with Bone Saw McGraw, the sum of three thousand will be paid to what's your name, kid? The human spider. The human spider, that's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. The sum of three thousand dollars will be paid to the terrifying, the deadly, the amazing Spider Man. My name's the human spider. I don't care, get out there. No, he got my name wrong. Get out there, moron. Bone saw will eat you up and spit you out, little man. I hope you brought your mommy. We'll break you. You need someone to cry. I'm going to rip all eight of your feeble legs off one by one. Oh my god, oh my god, legs. Oh my god, I can't feel my legs. Kill, 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 cage, cage, cage. Hello, guys. Will the guards please lock the cage doors at this time? Hey, listen, this is some kind of mistake. I didn't sign up for a cage match. Unlock this thing. Take the chain off. Hey, freak show. You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. What are you doing up there? Staying away from you. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Finish him off, smash him, hit him harder, kick his spider butt, hit him. One, two, three, that's it. Winner. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the new champion. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Now get out of here. A hundred bucks, that's at three thousand. We'll check it again, webhead. It's at three grand for three minutes. You pinned him in two. For that, I give you a hundred. You're lucky to get that. I need that money. I missed the part where that's my problem. Hey, what the heck? Put the money in the bag. Hurry up. Hey, he stole the gate. Stop that guy. Stop him. He's got my money. Thanks. What the heck's the matter with you? Let him go. Cut him off at the lobby and call the cops. You could have taken that guy apart. Now he's going to get away with my money. I missed the part where that was my problem. You got to get back. I can't see what happened. Old dude. Man, come on. Folks, keep moving. Please, keep moving. Let's go. What happened? Someone got hurt. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay back. Stay back. That's my uncle. What happened? Carjacker. He's been shot. We just called the paramedics. They're on their way. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. Peter. I'm here, Uncle Ben. Peter. They got the shooter. He said it's south on 5th. We got three cars in pursuit. All right, folks, come on, move back. Get the unit to the rear. I got the back. Who's there? Don't hurt me. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. What about my uncle? Did you give him a chance? Did you answer me? Stop that guy. Thanks. See you. Freeze. We got the place completely surrounded. Oh, no. My God. Oh, no. Oh, no. My God. No. Good evening. General, good to see you. Our exoskeleton got real firepower, General. Well, if it does what you can say, I'll sign that contract tomorrow. He's clear. Let's go. I assume you're confident about this test? Absolutely. Captain Curtis is our top pilot. Now, what about your commitment to Oscorp? Nothing would please me more than to put Norman Osborne out of business. Pre-flight complete. Mark, we are picking up an unidentified object close and fast. What the heck is that? Can you see anything? Oh, my God. Say cheese. Say chess. Chess. Peter, darling, I'm so proud of you. You look so handsome up there. B, good news. My father got us that place in New York, so we're all set for this Friday. Oh, that's great. You made it. It's not the first time I've been proven wrong. Congratulations. Thanks to have Peter the Science Award. That's terrific. Yeah. I know this has been a difficult time for you, but I want you to try to enjoy this day. Commencement. The end of one thing to start of something new. I don't want to be with you anymore. Here's your ring. You know what? Whatever. You're lost. You're like a brother to Harry. That makes you family. If you ever need anything, just give me a call. Can I fix you something? No, thanks. I missed him a lot today. I know. I miss him too, but he was there. I can't help thinking about the last thing he said. I said to him. He tried to tell me something important, and I threw it in his face. You loved him, and he loved you. He never doubted the man you'd grow into. How you were meant for great things. You won't disappoint him. With great power comes great responsibility. Remember that, Pete. Remember that. 
Hurry up. This is not a man. My brother saw him building a nest in the Lincoln Center fountain. They think he's human. They think he's a man. Could it be a woman? Bobby, get a load of this. He throws up these hands, ropes come out, and he climbs up the ropes like a spider web. I see the web. It's a signature, and I know Spider-Man was there. The guy protects us. You know, he protects the people. Some kind of freaky blue or something. Wackadoo. He stinks, and I don't like him. Don't move. Lady, guy with eight hands. Sounds hot. Those tight and those tights and that tight little dresses like a spider. He looks like a bug, but what should all just give him one big hug? Look out. Here he comes, the Spider-Man. Who is Spider-Man? He's a criminal. That's who he is. A vigilante. A public menace. What's he doing on my front page? Mr. Jameson, your wife's, your wife's on line one. She needs to know. Mr. Jameson, there's a page six problem. We got a page one problem. Shut up. Right. Well, he's news. They're really important clients. They can't wait. They're about to. He pulled six people off that subway car. Sure, from wreck he probably caused. Something goes wrong and this creepy crawler is there. Look at that. He's fleeing the scene. What does that tell you? He's not fleeing. He's probably going to save somebody else. He's a hero. Then why you wear a mask? Hmm? What's got to hide? She just needs to know if you want the chintz or the chino in the dining room. Whichever one's cheaper. Mr. Jameson, it's like this. We double book page six. See, so both Macy's and Conway's both have three quarters of the same page. We sold out four printing. Sold out every copy. Tomorrow morning, Spider-Man, page one, with a decent picture this time. Move Conway to page seven. There's a problem at page seven. Then make it page eight and give him 10% off. No, I'll make it five. That can't be done. Get out of here. Problem is, we don't have the decent picture. Eddie's been on it for weeks. We can barely get a glimpse of the guy. Oh, what is he, shy? If we can't get a picture of Julie, we can get a picture of Julie Roberts in a thong. We can certainly get a picture of this weirdo. Put it down on the front page. Cash money for a picture of Spider-Man. He doesn't want to be famous. Then I'll make him infamous. Hey, buzz off. MJ, it's me. Peter? Hi, what are you doing around here? I'm begging for a job. How about you? I'm headed to an audition. Audition? So you're acting now? Yeah, I work steady, in fact. I just got off a job. That's great, MJ. You're doing it. Living your dream. Hey, Glamour Girl, your drawer was short $6. Next time this happens, I'm going to take out of your check. Excuse me, Miss Watson. I'm talking to you. Yes, Enrique. Okay, I get you. It better not happen to you no more. Hear me? Don't roll your eyes at me. Some dream, huh? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Don't tell Harry. Don't tell Harry. Don't you guys live together? We're going out, didn't he tell you? Oh, yeah, right. I think he'd hate the idea of me waiting tables. He'd think it was low or something. It's not low. You have a job. You know, Harry doesn't live in a little place I like to call Earth. No, I guess not. Thanks, Pete. Pete, we should catch up sometime. Let's get lunch some evening. I'll come and have uh, your mac or your moon dance coffee uh, someday. And I won't tell Harry. No, don't tell Harry. I won't. I won't tell Harry. Timing's perfect. Hey, five new contracts. It'll be great. Stormin' Norman's making his weekly inspection. Spent half of it on the phone. Look, man, I'm glad you're here. I need your help. I'm really lost here. Are you all right? You look like you just got second place in the science fair. I was late for work. Dr. Connors fired me. You were late again? I don't get it. Where do you go all the time? Around. Peter Parker, maybe you, you'll tell me who she is. Who's that? The mystery girl Harry's been dating? Dad. When do I get to meet her? Dad. Well, sorry, Harry hasn't mentioned her. Pete, you're probably looking for a job now, right? Dad, maybe you can help him out? I appreciate it, but I'll be fine. It's no problem. I'll make a few calls. I couldn't accept it. I like to learn, uh, earn what I get. I can find my own work. I respect that. You want to make it on your own steam. That's great. What other skills do you have, Peter? I was thinking something in photography. Hello, let's go move it. Watch the street. Cheese. They're crap. Crap. Mega crap. I'll give you 200 bucks for all of them. That seems a little low. Take them somewhere else then. Sir, your wife said that tile you want in the foyer is out of stock. Seller will just put a rug there. Sit down. Give me that. Give you 300 bucks. That's a standard freelance fee. Tara page one. Run that photo instead. Headline, Spider-Man, Hero of Menace, Exclusive Daily Bugle Photos. Menace, he was protecting that armor. Tell you what, Atticus, you take the pictures and I'll move up the headlines, okay? Is that okay with you? Yes, sir. Goody. Give this to the girl up front. She'll see you get paid. I'd like a job, sir. No jobs. Freelance. Best thing in the world for a kid you age. You bring me some more shots of that newspaper selling clown, maybe I'll take them off your hands, but I never said you have a job. Meat. I'll send you a nice box of Christmas meat. Best I can do. Now get out of here. Bring me more photos. Hi. Hi. Mr. Jameson told me to give that to you. Welcome to the Daily Bugle. Thank you. I'm Peter Parker. I'm a photographer. Yes, I can see that. As of today, Oscorp Industries has surpassed Quest Aerospace as the primary, as the principal supplier to the United States military. In short, ladies and gentlemen of the board, costs are down, revenues are up, and stock has never been higher. Wonderful news, Norman. Wonderful, in fact, is the reason we're for selling the company. What? Yes, Quest Aerospace is recapitalizing in the wake of the bombing, expanding. They made a tender offer. We can't ignore it. Why was it not told? The last thing they want is a power struggle for entrenched management. The deal is off if you come with it. The board expects your resignation in 30 days. You can't do this to me. I started this company. Do you know how much I sacrificed? Oh, Max, please, Norman, the board is unanimous. We're announcing the sale after the World Unity Festival. I'm sorry. You're out, Norman. Am I? Welcome to Oscorp Industries Unity Day Festival. Welcome to Oscorp Unity Day Festival. Let's hear it from Macy Gray. <sighs> MJ, why didn't you wear the black dress? Just I wanted to impress my father. He loves black. Maybe he'll, Well, maybe he'll be impressed no matter what. You think I'm pretty. I think you're beautiful. MJ, would you do me a favor? I forgot my drink inside. Oh, hi, Mr. Fargus. Oh, Harry. Have you seen my father around? Well, I'm not sure he's coming today. What is that? Must be new this year. What is that? That's our glider. What the heck was that? Code 3, Code 3. 
Oh my god, Harry. MJ, Harry, help me, Harry. Out, am I? Harry Jane, Harry. Hello, my dear. It's Spider-Man. Come on, kid, move. Billy, somebody help him. No, mommy. Hold it right there. I surrender. Oh boy. Impressive. Mary Jane, help some help. Someone please help me. Hold on. Watch out. We'll meet again, Spider-Man. Hold on, Mary Jane. Well, beat's taking the subway. Don't mind us. She just needs to use the elevator. Wait, who are you? You know who I am. I do. Your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. Incredible. What do you mean he's incredible? No, all right, wait. Stay there. I'm going to come over. No, I'm going to come. All right, fine. Will you call me in the morning, and we'll go have breakfast? I want to buy you something. Because I want to. It'll make you feel better. Okay. And what do you mean incredible? All right. I'm sorry. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs. She's all right. She's just a little rattled. Look, Pete, I should have told you about us, but you should know I'm crazy about her. It's just, you know, you never made a move. You're right. I didn't. I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to stay up for a while. What was that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, somebody has to stop it. Somebody there? Somebody who said that? Don't play me innocent with me. You've known all along. Who are you? Follow the cold shiver running down your spine. I'm right here. I don't understand. Do you think it was a coincidence so many good things all happening for you? All for you, Norman? What do you want? To say what you want. To do what you can't. To remove things in your way. The board members. You killed them. We killed them. You remem We remember your little accident in the laboratory. Performance enhancers. Bingo. Me. Your greatest creation. Bringing you what you've always wanted. Power beyond your wildest dreams. And it's only the beginning. There's only one who can stop us, or imagine if you join us, Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin, you like that? Mr. Jameson, made it up myself. These weirdos all gotta have a name now. Mr. Jameson, Spider-Man, Hoffman, yeah. Call the patent office, copyright, the name Green Goblin. I want a quarter every time somebody says it. How about Green Meanie? Spider-Man wasn't attacking the city, he was trying to save it. That's slander. It's not, I resent that. Slander is spoken, and print it's liable. You don't trust anyone, that's your problem. I trust my barber. What do you use, lawyer? Get out of here. Let him sue me. Get rich like a normal person. That's what made this country. Jameson, you slime. Who's the photographer who takes the pictures of Spider-Man? I don't know who he is. His stuff comes in the mail. You're lying. I swear. He's the only one who can bring me to him. I don't know who he is. You are useless. You sit him down, tough guy. Speak of the devil. Spider-Man, I knew you two were together. Hey, kiddo, let mom and dad talk for a minute, will you? Sleep. Wake up, little spider. Wake up. No, you're not dead yet. Just paralyzed temporarily. You're an amazing creature, Spider-Man. You and I are so different. I'm not like you. You're a murderer. Well, to each his own. I chose my path. You choose the way of the hero. And they found you amusing for a while, the people of this city. But the one thing they love more than a hero is to see a hero fail, fall, die trying. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Why bother? Because it's right. Here's the real truth. There are 8 million people in this city. And those teeming masses exist for the sole purpose of lifting the few exceptional people onto their soldiers. You, me, we're exceptional. I could squash you like a bug right now, but I'm offering you a choice. Join me. Imagine what we could accomplish together, what we could create, or we could destroy. Because the deaths of countless innocents in a selfish battle again and again until we're both dead. Is that what you want? Think about it, hero. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. It's me again. How was your audition? How'd you know? The hotline. Your mom told my aunt, told me. So you just came by? I was in the neighborhood. Needed to see a friendly face. I took two buses in a cab to get in the neighborhood, but... So how'd it go? They said I needed acting lessons. A soap opera told me I needed acting lessons. They buy you a cheeseburger. The sky's the limit. Up to seven eighty four. I'd like a cheeseburger. Oh, but I'm going to dinner with Harry. Come with us. No, thanks. How's it going with... Never mind. That's none of my business. It's not. Why so interested? I'm not. You're not? Well, why would you be? I don't know. Why would... I don't know. Sorry, you won't come with us. I better run, tiger. Hey, check out. Man, come on, come on. Hey, where are you going? Uh, this is where all the weird stuff happens. They make a bunch of those weird noises, and then Spider-Man uh, fights them. And, uh, yeah. And then they, like, kiss and stuff. Um... What about my generous proposal? Are you in or out? It's you who's out, Gobby. Out of your mind. Wrong answer. Oh, great. No one says no to me. MJ, will you stop goofing around? Harry, relax. He's here. Are you ready? Aunt May, I'm sorry I'm late. Work was murder. I picked up a fruitcake. Thank you, Mr. Osborne. We're so glad you came, could come. Who is this lovely young lady? I'd like you to meet my father, Norman Osborne. Dad, this is Mary Jane Watson. How do you do? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Happy Thanksgiving, sir. Now, where's Peter? He better remember that cranberry sauce. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know he was here. Peter, is that you? How strange. There's nobody here. Bit of a slob, isn't he? All brilliant men are. Hey, everyone. Oh, Peter. Sorry I'm late. It was a jungle out there. I had to be an old lady with a stick to get these cranberries. Thank you. Now then, everyone can sit down and we can say grace. Here we go. There we are. It looks delicious. Will you do the honors? Why, well, Peter, you're bleeding. Oh, yeah. I stepped off a curb and slipped on one of those bike messengers. Well, let me see. Oh, my goodness. That looks awful. No, it's nothing. I'll get the first aid kit. Then we'll say grace. This is the boy's first Thanksgiving in this apartment, and we're going to do things properly. How'd you say that happened? Bike messenger. Knock me down. 
You excuse me, I've got to be going. Why? Something's come to my attention. Are you all right? I'm fine, just just fine. Thank you, Miss Parker. Everyone enjoy the fruitcake. Dad, Dad, what are you doing? I planned this whole thing so you meet MJ, and now you gotta leave, I gotta go. This girl is important to me. Harry, please look at her. Do you think a woman like that is sniffing around because she likes you, per your personality? What are you saying? Your mother was beautiful, too. They're all beautiful until they're snarling after your trust fund like a pack of braving wolves. You're wrong about her, Dad. A word to the not-so-wise about your little girlfriend. Do what you need with her, then broom her fast. Thanks for sticking up for me, Harry. You heard? Everyone heard of that creep. That creep is my father, all right? I'm lucky I'll become half the man of what, half of what he is, so just keep your mouth shut about stuff you don't understand. Harry Osborne. I'm sorry, Aunt May. Spider-Man is all but invincible, but Parker, we can destroy him. I can't. Betray Betrayal must not be count contents. Parker must be educated. What do I do? Instruct him on the matters of loss and pain. Make him suffer. Make him wish he were dead. Yes, and then grant his wish. But how? The cunning warrior attacks neither the body nor mind. Tell me how. The heart, Osborne. First we attack the heart. <sighs> Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us. Finish it. Finish the prayer from evil. Two milligrams IV. Get the BP. Aunt May, is she going to be okay? What happened? Yeah, she's going to be okay. Look, you're not going to, you're going to have to leave right now. What happened? Those eyes, those terrible yellow eyes. He knows who I am. I'm sorry. Will she be okay? She's going to be fine. She's been sleeping all day. Thanks for coming. Of course. How are you? Are you okay for about the other night? Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt bad about leaving Aunt May. Have you talked to Harry? He's called me. I haven't called him back. In fact, I'm in love with somebody else. You are? At least I think I am. It's not the time to talk about it. No, go on. Would I know the, his name, the, this guy? You'll think I'm a stupid little girl with a crust. Trust me. It's funny. He saved my life twice, and I've never even seen his face. Oh, him. You're laughing at me. No, I understand. He's extremely cool. But do you think it's true, all the terrible things they say about him? No, no, not Spider-Man. Not a chance in the world. I know him a little bit. I'm sort of his unofficial photographer. Has he mentioned me? Yeah. What did he say? He said, I said, he asked uh, He asked me what I thought about you. And what did you say? I said, Spider-Man, the great thing about MJ is when you look in her eyes and she's looking back in yours, everything feels not quite normal because you feel stronger and weaker at the same time. You feel excited at the same time terrified. The truth is you don't know what you feel except you know what kind of man you want to be. It's as if you reached an unreachable and you weren't ready for it. You said that? Well, something like that. Dad, Dad, is that you? What is it? You were right about MJ. You're right about everything. She's in love with Peter. Parker? Yeah, and how does he feel about her? Well, he's loved her since the fourth grade. He pretends like he doesn't, but there's no one Peter cares more for. I'm so sorry. I haven't always been there for you, have I? You're busy. You're an important man. I understand. That's no excuse. I'm proud of you. I've lost sight of that somewhere, but I'll make it up to you, Harry. I'm going to rectify certain inequities. Wake up, little spider. Wake up. Go home, dear. You look awful. You look beautiful. Thank you. I don't like to leave you here, but I'm safe here. Can I do anything for you? You do too much. College, a job, all this time with me. You're not Superman, you know. A smile. Finally, I haven't seen one of those on your face since Mary Jane was here. Hey, you were supposed to be asleep. You know, you were about six years old when MJ's family moved next door. When she got out of the car and you saw her for the first time, you grabbed me and said, Aunt May, Aunt May, is that an angel? Gee, did I say that? You sure did. Well, Harry's in love with her. She's still his girl. Well, isn't that up to her? She doesn't really know who I am because you won't let her. You're so mysterious all the time. Tell me, would it be so dangerous to Mary Jane you know how much you care? Everyone else knows. I'll be right back, but come on, pick up. Hey, MJ. Hi. Sing your song at the beat. MJ, it's Peter. You there? Hello, you there? I'm just going to check up on you. Will you call me when you get in? All right, well, don't, don't go any up dark alleys. Hello? Can Spider-Man come out to play? Where is she? What is that? That's cool. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the goblin and took the spider out. Goblin, what have you done? Spider Man, this is why only fools are heroes because you never know when some lunatic will come around with a sadistic choice. Let die the woman you love or suffer the little children. Spider Man, save us. Make your choice, Spider Man, and see how our hero is rewarded. Don't do it, Goblin. We are who we choose to be. Now choose. No! Everybody stay still. Ahoy up there. We're going to bring the barge right under you. He's coming back. Listen, I need you to calm down. I can't. Yes, you can, MJ. You can do it. You have to trust me. Hold tight and go quickly. Hurry. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hang on, Mary, J Mary Jane. He's not going to make it. He's going to make it. It's time to die. Come up here, dumb goo. I got a little something for you. Leave Spider-Man alone. You're going to pick on a guy trying to save a bunch of kids? You mess with Spidey, you mess with New York. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Spider-Man, watch out. Misery, misery, misery. That what you've chosen. I have offered you friendship and you spat in my face. You spun your last web, Spider-Man. 
Had you not been so selfish, your little girlfriend's death would have been quick and painless, but now that you really pissed me off, I'm going to finish her nice and slow. MJ and I are going to have a heck of a time. Peter, stop, stop, it's me, Mr. Osborne. Peter, thank God for you. You killed those people on that balcony. The goblin killed. I had nothing to do with it. Don't let him take me again. I beg you, protect me. You try to kill Aunt May. You try to kill Mary Jane, but not you. I tried to stop it, but I couldn't stop it. I would never hurt you. I knew from the beginning if anything ever happened to me, it was you I could count on. You, Peter Parker, would save me. And so you have. Thank God for you. Give me your hand. Believe me as I believe in you. I've been like a father to you. Be a son to me now. I have a father. His name was Ben Parker. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Oh, Peter, don't tell Harry. What have you done? What have you done? I'm so sorry, Harry. I know what it's like to lose a father. I didn't lose him. He was stolen from me. One day, Spider-Man will pay. I swear on my father's grave, Spider-Man will pay. Thank God for you, Peter. You're the only family I have. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, the ones I love will always be the ones who pay. You must miss him so much. It's been so hard without him. There's something I've been wanting to tell you. When I was up there and I thought I was going to die, the only person who I was thinking of, and it wasn't who I thought it'd be. It was you, Pete. I kept thinking, I hope I make it I make it through this so I can see Peter Parker's face one more time. Really? There's only one man who's always been there for me who makes me feel like I'm more than I ever thought I could be. That I'm just me and that's okay. The truth is, I love you. I love you so much, Peter. All I wanted was to tell her how much I loved her. I can't. You can't what? Tell you everything. I mean, there's so much to tell. Yeah, there's so much to tell. I want you to know that I will always be there for you. I'll always be the dare to take care of you. I promise you that. I'll always be your friend. Only a friend, Peter Parker. That's all I have to give. Whatever life holds in store for me, I will never forget those words. With great power comes great responsibility. This is my gift, my curse. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Bye. <sighs>